uh, hello and welcome to my channel again today I have uh, Hyundai uh, i30 1.4 uh, the car was towed to, towed, uh, to our garage by the AA uh, <coughs> roadside uh, rescue team or uh, rescue one so uh, the vehicle has uh, a knocking on the engine uh, and also uh, until you haven't pressed the accelerator pedal the engine will not start and also another symptom that there is zero vacuum created by the engine while the engine is idling and they, for this reason the brake pedal is too hot so uh, I'm going to start the engine and you watch and see the engine sound. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's not recommended to leave the engine running more than this because it's too dangerous and it's, making, it's going to make more damage to the engine if there is, for example, uh, uh, a timing chain issue or any other thing because we yet don't know what the problem is. So this was the uh, mechanical a symptom that we had uh, from the engine and as you can see until you haven't pressed the accelerator pedal the engine will not start and also the sound the, was very very bad and there is a severe noise on the engine so I'm one person because uh, when I start the engine <coughs> uh, I uh, cannot at the same time attend to watch the engine that uh, where the knocking sound is coming from so <clears throat> and this is the uh, fold code uh, we have retrieved from the vehicle which is p0016 and a which is active uh, it says crankshaft position sensor cam camshaft position sensor uh, correlation bank one sensor a uh, intake and also we have uh, P0106 this code is also active and it says man, uh, manifold absolute pressure or map uh, uh, barometric pressure circuit range performance that's, that's also going to be related to this one as I told you previously that <coughs> so the engine is 
not creating any vacuum. So without engine vacuum, the brake servo will not assist a braking system. So for this reason, the brake pedal is too hard because there is no any vacuum created by the engine uh, for the brake servo to assist the braking system. So this is the fault code that we have P0016 and P0106. So as the problem is obvious, there is no need to check for the camshaft and crankshaft correlation uh, signal. So as we can see, uh, obvious that there is a problem. So I'm going to investigate further. So I will not be connecting uh, oscilloscope to uh, <coughs> take data from the uh, camshaft position sensor signal and the crankshaft position sensor, sensor signal. So once again, this is the fault code. Let me zoom that in. You will be able to see this is P0016 and this is the definition of, a, of it, this as you can see and also uh, P0106 and it's active and this is def definition for that one as well. So now I'm going to turn the engine by hand and see So anyway I'm going to <coughs> Check the uh, timing uh, mark alignment and see if the uh, so how far is the timing mark alignment uh, alignments are out. So how far? Okay, this is the timing mark marks for this vehicle. This is the exhaust camshaft sprocket and this is the inlet uh, camshaft uh, sprocket and this is the two line that should be opposite each other and uh, in straight line as uh, like so and also this line this two line should be leveled with the edge of the uh, cylinder head on with the top edge of the cylinder head and I mean that this sh this and the cylinder top edge should be in the same level so this two and these are the <coughs> uh, camshaft sprocket uh, alignment or uh, alignment uh, marks there is one dot here and another dot here so once you check that one the, the alignment is correct so anyway first you need to bring the crankshaft to top dead center so actually i have just explained on the opposite way so this is the uh, crankshaft pulley i'm going to bring that little bit because my computer is too slow it's a old version so this is the uh, crankshaft pulley and this is the mark on the crankshaft as you can see and this is the mark on the uh, timing chain cover so as you can see this is uh, 10 
uh, degree before top dead center and this is 5 degree before uh, top dead center and this is 0 so the crankshaft pulley this mark should align this 0 mark here on the uh, timing case cover or, or the timing chain cover here so then uh, if you remove the uh, crankshaft pulley so then it says that the <coughs> Uh, crankshop uh, key here which is the crankshop sprocket key for the crankshop pulley should uh, <coughs> be located on 12 o'clock so once uh, let me take this out and this is the procedure as you can see and I'm going to briefly explain the procedure as well to you, so you as, as it says ensure engine at top dead center on number one cylinder <coughs> ensure crankshaft dowel pin at 12 o'clock which I explained to you uh, this one to uh, uh, ensure uh, crankshaft timing marks Align with the upper surface of cylinder heat, which is uh, this two, this two here, with the upper surface of the cylinder heat. So mark chain links with pen against timing marks on sprocket. So you need to mark this with the pen, this and that. So. <clears throat> Uh, lock chime, timing chain uh, tensioner in retracted position before uh, carrying out engine repair. So there is a plug on the timing chain cover which is uh, located exactly opposite this hole. So I'm going to show you later that to you. So you need to uh, unplug or unscrew that plug and then you will be able to insert this pen into the uh, timing chain tensioner hole so <laughs> once you have removed this plug and then you, you will be able to push this uh, timing chain guide guide by a non-sharp uh, aged uh, pry bar or something like that and then you will be able to insert pen once uh, the plunger is pushed in, in, inside the uh, timing chain tensioner body and then you will be able to put pen into this uh, from the outside through the uh, hole which is located uh, in the uh, timing uh, chain cover uh, exactly opposite this hole. So <laughs> this is that and uh, as it says that uh, push plunger into uh, tensioner housing insert suitable pen to lock tensioner plunger so align <coughs> colored chain links with timing marks on each sprocket so <coughs> this uh, uh, timing chain hasn't got any uh, <coughs> colored, uh, colored links so <coughs> Uh, so you need to just paint this and so <coughs> if uh, okay and then uh, so say remove so align color chain links with, uh, links with the timing marks on each sprocket for remove timing chain tensioner locking pen after repair so once you have aligned every, everything and then you need to remove the this pen this pen number seven so <clears throat> tightening crank crankshaft pulley bolt 128 to 137 newton meters so i won't i won't be removing the crankshaft pulley i'm going to uh, <coughs> uh, uh, realign uh, the uh, valve timing without removing the crankshaft pulley so
uh, first I'm going to uh, show you that the uh, timing uh, is out so how far or how many degrees the timing is out so let's uh, uh, <coughs> see that together okay uh, this is the uh, crankshaft pulley aligning mark uh, the camera might show that little bit out but it's, uh, it's uh, completely aligned because the camera is showing like so so this is the mark on the uh, uh, crankshaft pulley and this is the uh, zero mark or top dead center on the uh, timing chain cover. So I, this, this is completely aligned together. If I move the camera this way or this way, that's going to show you a little bit, little bit different. But uh, when you can see from uh, your eye point, this is completely aligned. So as you can see, let me... Uh, Bring this one second if you are this is zero and this is the mark as you can see. Okay. Uh, this is that now I'm going to bring the vehicle uh, <coughs> down and uh, I'm going to show you the uh, <coughs> cam shop uh, 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 timing uh, marks. This is the uh, uh, timing alignment mark on the uh, exhaust cam shop sprocket, as you can see and uh, that one is on the no sorry this one is on the inlet camshaft sprocket and this one is on the exhaust camshaft scrub sprocket so as you can see here this this should be leveled with this surface here this surface here and this is also this should be opposite this and straight line and level with this edge with this upper surface of the cylinder head as well so this is the mark on the inlet camshaft sprocket this one and this is the timing mark on the exhaust uh, camshaft sprocket so this as you can see that much this one is out and also if you see the cam loops so this is little bit tilted uh, to the inward of the engine and this is if if I hold like so so as you can see but the camera is in, in this side it's going to show you this one tilted same but when I look from my eyes point so this is out to the outward of the engine so as you can see this is the mark this should i'm going to bring that downward this anti-clock was wise until match or meet this line opposite and leveled with the upper surface of the cylinder heat so again this is uh, exhaust camshaft sprocket and this is inlet camshaft sprocket as you can see this is the inlet manifold located here and this is the exhaust manifold located here to this side mm, okay 
so I'm going to remove uh, this flag as you can see I'm not sure if you are able to see so I'm going to remove this flag This is the flag I have taken out from here. Now I'm going to show you how it looks like uh, from through this hole, through the uh, flag hole. So I'm going to put that here. So this is the hole. So I'm going to show you that. Can you see? And I'm going to just hold on i'm going to push the uh, timing chain gu guide against the uh, timing chain tensioner so the uh, flanger of the uh, timing ch chain tensioner will go in to the timing tensioner uh, <coughs> housing okay now i'm going to uh, push the guide backward against the uh, timing chain tensioner and you watch you watch here Okay, finally, uh, I was able to uh, lock the tensioner. So the trick is that you need to push very, very slightly uh, the plunger in and then push that pin. And uh, the pin is not uh, much going through uh, in uh, very, very much. So the pin is not going... Uh, uh, too much through and just a little bit slight and then you will be able to uh, push to the end uh, the plunger uh, into the uh, tensioner uh, housing and then push a little bit the pen extra more to keep the uh, tensioner uh, plunger in its locked position and Okay, to remove this bracket, the exhaust, the cam <coughs> exhaust camshaft bracket, there is a place you need to hold this firmly, and then lose this with the ring spanner. You will not be able to put socket and ratchet, ratchet here. You will not be able to place because there is very very restricted space here. So do it with the ring spanner, with the long ring, ring spanner. So, and so while doing this. Losing this bolt, you need to hold the camshaft here with the an another open end rings, uh, open end spanner firmly. Okay, so this bolt is a 14 millimeter head, and this uh, hexagon space on the camshaft is 32 millimeter. As you can see, I have put. Uh, 32 as you can see, it's 32. So now I'm going because I will not be able to record this because I need my both hands to work with it. Uh, but this is as you will be required to do, as you can see. I was finally able to uh, bring the this mark down as you can see this mark and that mark so I'm going to show you because the so as you can see uh, because they 
level is uh, above the uh, edge of the uh, cylinder heat so it's not going to show you very very accurate but anyway it's it's okay and uh, uh, that's the crankshaft mark as you can see uh, you might be able to see that those are the crankshaft mark uh, crankshaft mark crankshaft pulley mark so I'm going to release the tensioner and then uh, tighten this is uh, this uh, where is my other torch? This bolt is uh, to be torqued to 69 newton meter plus minus one uh, newton meter. So I'm going to uh, release the tensioner and then torque this one. So uh, change the engine oil. On. So after releasing the tensioner and as you can see okay I have uh, turned the engine uh, to turn clockwise and as you can see everything is aligned properly both mark you might be able to see both mark and also mark on the uh, crankshaft I'm not sure that more you might be able to see um, from here where is that It's over there, but yeah, now you might be able to see it. The camera shows this uh, the, that the uh, mark on the crankshaft is located to the right side, but that's not the case if I move the camera like so. And now you'll be able to see. So. because the camera is from this angle from the right angle that's going to show you a little bit different but it is aligned if you see from here can't show you this So now I'm going to put the rocker cover on and put uh, new oil and oil filter and uh, when I was when I'm starting the engine I'm going to show you that how the, re the engine is perform performing. Okay, for this engine, it's uh, uh, mm, let me what's the engine code? Let me sh tell you the engine code. Uh, it's G4 FA. So the oil cap uh, engine oil capacity is uh, 3.3 liters. Okay, I have put new engine oil, 
new oil filter or put the manufacturer recommended uh, engine oil to now the moment of truth we are going to start the engine We have started the engine and it's perfect noise so I have I have forgotten this one and I'm going to put that one again. I have I'm going to install that plug. Uh, Okay, I have installed everything and the engine is running. So the engine is still cold and I'm going to leave it until it reach its operating temperature and see. I think so far it's so good. So I'm going to put the wheel back on and uh, also uh, this car in front of the uh, crankshaft wheel, I'm going to put that on and I will leave the engine running and uh, turn the camera off once I have installed the road wheel and this one and I'm going to show you again how the engine is performing. Okay, as you can see the engine is idling very very smooth now I'm going to check the uh, P0016 DTC and I'm going to clear that out and also I'm going to check for the uh, brake servo uh, boost assistance where uh, the brake pedal is uh, soft enough to go down that was because of the no vacuum in the uh, uh, inlet manifold uh, the uh, brake pedal was too hard uh, to go down Okay, the treble code is still active, so I'm going to delete them. I'm going to turn the engine off and delete them and see if they uh, come back. Okay, I'm going to clear them back. Yes. Okay, no. Okay, uh, no fault code uh, have, uh, fault codes have detected right now. I'm going to start the engine and see if the fault code uh, uh, have returned back. I'm going to cycle the ignition key one or two times and then I'm going to start and leave 
uh, the engine because uh, with the ignition uh, cycling the ignition key, I don't think they full good with uh, return back because uh, until uh, the computer uh, have has the uh, camshaft position sensor signal and the crankshaft after that if the correlation is not right the ECU is going to uh, set or store a um, fault code or DTC for that. So I'm going to start the engine again. So engine is very very smooth, sound is alright, everything is alright. So I'm going to go back. No full put. I think that is going. Let me go back. See that. No full put. I think that's going to go all right. So anyway, I'm going to give a car a road test drive. Then I'm going to check again. So <coughs> if they pull code, I'll return. So anyway, once I have come from a road test trip, I'm going to uh, check full code again that and uh, record that uh, while I was checking the uh, while I'm checking the full code. Okay, I have took the vehicle to a short trip. And I have just returned from a short trip. As you can see, the engine is still running. And I'm going to check the fault code if any of the fault code has returned back. I'm going to completely exit. So I'm going to press that. Travel code. That's good news, the travel code, uh, any of them has not uh, returned back either for the uh, 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 manipulated absolute pressure and also for the uh, cam crank uh, correlation uh, 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 fault code, cam crank, cam crank uh, sensors. Uh, correlation sig signal so uh, that was uh, another repair by Stanhope uh, Auto Repair Center so thanks for watching so once again I'm going to show you the engine uh, uh, how the engine is running because now the engine has reached to its it freighting as you can see very very quiet, very very nice, very very smooth and uh, no shaking or anything. 